hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see how to run this kind of display using i2c protocol for this we need this kind of module this module is specially designed for this kind of display so we have to solder it like this so this is how i have soldered like this now we have to connect only four pins ground, VCC, SDA and SCL. This is potentiometer and we have to use this to adjust the contrast of the display. And see this three, A0, A1, A2. I'll show you its uses at the time of practical. Now we have to connect these four pins to the Arduino. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel this will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. Here it is Arduino Nano, I2C LCD module, VCC 2 plus 5 volt pin, ground to ground, SCL is connected to A5 and SDA is connected to A4. So this is a very simple connection. VCC and ground. SCL and SDA. A5 and A4. Now connecting the Arduino to the computer. Before printing something on the display, we have to know what is the address of I2C module. For this, we have to upload a program. It is called I2C Scanner. For this, go to File, Example, Wire, I2C Scanner. This is the program we have to upload. Okay, now uploading. The program is uploaded. Now open the serial monitor. Per 5 seconds, it is showing the address. The address is I square device found address at 0 into 3F. Now, as we are using I square C, so for that we have to include the OR header file. Now, in general, for the display, we include this library, but as we are going to use I2C LCD display, for that we need to include a different library. Go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, or you can directly can go here, type liquid crystal underscore I2C then scroll down yeah this one liquid crystal i square c install now go to sketch include library here this one liquid crystal i square c so this is the library we need I'm putting it here. Okay. Now type liquid crystal I square C. I'm naming my display as LCD. Then 
we have to type the address from the address scanner we have seen that the address of this i square c module is 0 into 3 f then you have to write the size of the display it is 16 by 2 okay to start the display we have to type lcd dot init this is to initialize the display then to print something we have to set the cursor lcd dot set cursor what I'm going to print lcd dot print double e web now I'm uploading this it is uploaded as you can see the backlight is turned off to turn on the backlight you have to write LCD dot backlight okay now as you can see it is turned on so this is how you can use this i square c module for lcd display you can write more first column second row please subscribe uploading so this is how this works now we have to see how to change the address now see here we have a0, A1 and A2 A0, A1 and A2 we have not connected this both so it is 0, 0 and 0 and we have just seen in this condition the address is 0x3f it is hexadecimal address we can get 8 address because 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 this is 1 2 this is 3 4 5 6 and 7 this is all the 8 condition and according to this we will get different address for 0 0 1 it will be 0x3 we have to minus 1 that is 3e next is 0x3d then 0x3c then 0x3b 0x3a then 0x3 after a it is 9 0x3 8 now the main question is why do we need to change the address let's say you are going to use two i square c devices and the address of both the devices is same 
in that condition we have to change the address any one of the module for example I'll show you by changing the address let's say 100 so it will be 3b this one is a2 now I'm going to solder this a2 it is soldered now again I'm connecting it to the computer see in the display we are not able to see anything because the address is changed now the address is 3b so I'm changing it 3b okay I'm changing it thanks see it is working so this is how you can change your address so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching